Hi, my name is Michelle. Um, I grew up in Casa Grande and um, I was very blessed as a child to grow up in church. Um, I, there was a church van that would come and pick me up um, every church service. Until I was probably up in high school, I just had this wonderful um, relationship with God. Um, and then when I got to be older in high school, you know, I, I fell away with other teenagers my age, you know, starting to drink a little bit and do things I shouldn't do. Um, and I got married very young um, <clears throat> and just totally backslid, you know, away from church. When I was 21, um, I got divorced and at that time I just had two children. Um, and then later on, a, a couple years later, I met my current husband, um, Will, and we have a son together, Jamie. One day I got the worst phone call any parent could get. Um, my oldest son, Chance, um, was found hanging in his apartment. And um, of course my world was just turned upside down from that moment on. And um, then 30 days later, um, my daughter, also passed away and um so just incredible amount of grief and sorrow and um your life is just totally flipped upside down and when um my daughter lived for four days in a coma another son <clears throat> jamie and when he walked into the room and has seen his sister um I'll never forget the look on his face. Well, he had confided to a nurse that he didn't want to live without his brother and his sister um, and that he wanted to kill himself. So, um, of course, the nurse, you know, came to us and told us what was happening. And so we had to walk him over to the children's hospital, which was next door. And that was an incredibly difficult moment. Um, I kind of collapsed back in the chair and I realized that I had no control over this situation. Um, my oldest son was already gone. I didn't get to say goodbye to him. Um, my daughter was in a coma in the hospital next door and now I have to leave my youngest son um, in a hospital. And I totally had no control over anything. You know, we, um, as people, we think we have control over situations and our lives, but really, um, control is an illusion. We, we really have no control. And I, um, of course, was praying desperately to God for my daughter to be healed. One of the most amazing things is that when we were at the hospital and my daughter was in a coma, the first couple days she was kind of responsive she could move her head or her eyes would flutter so I, I know that she heard us talking to her and she would try to respond to us in some way um, and for my for her and for myself I would get the Bible out and I would just read I'd read mostly the Psalms and one day you know I was reading the Psalm and it just hit me um you know I didn't know what the outcome of this was gonna be and I just stopped reading and I looked at my daughter and I said, Marina, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know you hear me. And I said, I'm gonna say the sinner's prayer and I want you to say it with me. And so I um, said the sinner's prayer. Um, it was incredibly difficult to see her body transform what was happening to her. And every day things just got exponentially worse. That my son um, eventually came home from the hospital, but he was on suicide watch for about three months. And um, that was an incredibly hard three months. Fear, like I'd never experienced before, gripped me, as well as, you know, the grief that we were going through, because every time he got out of my sight, um, I was scared to death that something was gonna happen to him, and, um, or he was gonna do something to himself. And we were living from that point on in just utter despair and anguish because I couldn't understand why 
this would happen. And every day I would say that, why God, why? And um, we were stuck there. Um, we went through money like crazy. We would spend money. Um, we were at the casino all the time. Um, we even, my husband said one day, he's like, let's, um, let's smoke some pot. He's like, you know, we have been through hell. Um, we need some relief. We need to be able to relax a little bit. So I said, okay. And so on the weekends that we, so what we would look forward to is, um, smoking pot and getting high just so we could forget. And, um, you know, when the weekend came and went, all of our problems were still there. So, you know, that wasn't solving anything for us. But deep down inside, I knew um, God and I knew he was the answer. And one day I told my husband, as we were high, I said, what would happen to us if Jesus came right now? I said, do you think that we would get left behind? And of course he says, that's a heck of a thing to say right now. But after that, we never smoked anymore. Um, because I, I knew the truth and I knew where I needed to turn. I mean, we were so utterly desperate for change and for healing because, uh, you know, we couldn't do it in our own power and our own might. So, um, I got the Bible out and I started, um, desperately praying and seeking God. Every verse in the Bible that had anything to do with joy, you know, I would just pray this verse and say, God, this is your promise to me. Going to church for us together at that time really wasn't an option because he grew up Catholic and he had told me he would never go to um, any church that was not Catholic. So I didn't even think about trying to get him to go at this point. Well, one day he was witnessed to by a friend at work and his friend um, had challenged him about his beliefs. And he said, okay, I'm ready um, to go someplace to a church. And so we started looking and um, we eventually came to Victory Chapel. And it was literally like when we walked through the doors, God was just waiting there with a big hug for us. Um, the presence of God was so amazing and you know instantly um, he started doing a miracle in our, our lives and in our hearts and um, I just totally surrendered to God um, and it's amazing the journey that we've been on because from these broken people um, utterly broken God has restored me um, and he's restored joy to my heart, to my life, um, peace. I'm not living in anguish anymore. Um, and the deep sorrow and grief, um, God is just so good. And I can live again with joy and peace and happiness and um, restoration. Um, I'm so blessed. Um, if somebody's watching this, and you've been through brokenness, if you've been through grief, um, if you've lost a loved one, a child or another family member, um, or anything because deep grief and sorrow is caused by many, many things, I'm here to tell you that um, Jesus is the answer. Jesus can restore um, what was lost, what the enemy has stolen from you. Absolutely, Jesus can give you back life. He can give you back um, hope and peace and joy. Um, he did it for me. He's no respecter of persons. He will do it for you. My name is Michelle Webb and it's because of Jesus Christ I live again.